told your daddy. What? <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. How do I look? What do you think? I've even got rosy cheeks. To what do I owe this? <sighs> to the wonderful, amazing injection <laughs> that I got. Yeah, um, wasn't yesterday, it was Wednesday. Today's Friday. I'm off today and I'm actually going to go to my rheumatologist today. It's my last visit with him. He's leaving the practice. That stinks, right? I hate it when, uh, you find a doctor and you love them and then they leave. Does that ever happen to you? Happens to me all the time. The good ones never stay. I have very slight numbing in my fingers, so I'm not even gonna complain. I am a new person. Steroids, steroids just, they make me feel so, so good. The steroids are like a Band-Aid. They really and truly don't get to the root of the problem. But boy, oh boy, does that Band-Aid feel good. This injection was a success. I love this pain management doctor. He's amazing. His name is Dr. Shalmi, and he is in White Plains, New York. Actually, I guess they consider it Harrison, New York, but I'm telling you, he is the kindest man, and he's just, his bedside manner is ridiculous. Anyway, I just wanted to come on and say hi and tell you guys that the shot worked. Tuesday of next week, I'm going to have the EMG done, which is the electro, my, let me set you guys up here. Hold on a minute. The electro myography test, something like that. Anyway, it's a nerve conduction test to see if my carpal tunnel has gotten worse. And then I will go and see the hand surgeon and depending on what he thinks or what he says, then I will get, um, Carpal tunnel surgery, maybe, which I hear is really not a big deal these days. I know, I'm talking fast. Believe me, it's the steroids. I want to clean everything and pick up everything and just do everything because I'm feeling good. <laughs> but I know I have to relax. Peter Parker always tells me, just because you're on that steroid doesn't mean that you have to go crazy. Calm down, because when your pain comes back, it's going to come back double time. I hate to admit that he's right. He is. Anyway, I want to do jumping jacks and dance. When you have chronic pain, it's so depressing. But when I feel good, oh man, do I feel good. Okay, so I'm all ready for my trip to my doctor. It looks a little crazy. I just put it up while I was taking a shower because I didn't want to redo it type of thing. And um, I just got this back from the jeweler. This is my mom's name bracelet. Apparently, I guess she had lost it because we found it behind her dresser. It was broken, so I fixed it. I love this. I will wear this forevermore. It has her name on it, Norma. It's just special to me, my mama. Anyway, so let me get out of here. Maybe I'll stop at Target and we can look around together. I'm still looking for something to put the spoons in and the straws for my coffee bar. So we'll see what we find. So I'm here. I'm actually here really early. The appointment isn't uh, until one and I'm here at 12.05. Rather be early than late. But I stopped at Starbucks. I've never tasted this before. This is a salted caramel cold brew. What? I don't even, I don't know how to like ask for things at Starbucks. I feel like a weirdo because, you know, for so many years I was a dumb, a dumpkin. I was a dumpkin. I was a Dunkin's girl. I walked up to the counter today and I said, can I have a salted caramel cold brew? And when she said grande, tall, I, I just was like, <laughs> Um, can you show me the cups? I still don't know what the cups are called, but anyway, let's taste it. Oh, this is pretty good. I mean, I love salted caramel. And then I got one of my favorites. This is the bacon. I already took a bite out of it. The bacon, egg, and gouda sandwich, breakfast sandwich. It's the best. So I'm going to eat this and just fart around in my car for a little while until it's time to go in. Mm. Oh my god.
These are five. These are cute. 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 Five dollars. Oh, these are cute. These little stackable bowls. Not my colors, but they're cute. Like this one is adorable. Welcome to the carrot patch. Hmm. These are cute for the kids in the summer. Cute little tulips. These are pretty. This could be like a candy dish or something. This is what, $3? Yeah. Little bunny candy dish. My favorite place. Glad you're here. <laughs> 20 bucks. Okay. So I'm looking for something to put my spoons in um, at the coffee bar. And I found this for $8. I think I'm going to do a little DIY on this. This is really for um, toothbrushes. And they have, like, let me show you. They have a lot of different ones. This, this is $8. And this is the uh, Room Essentials a brand. And I think that I can make this into something that I really want. They have tons of them. I mean, these pretty eh. but they're $16.99 $12.99 this is only eight bucks so I'm gonna take this one oh. Oh. all right so I just got home from Target and the supermarket, and I'm gonna show you a very, very quick haul of the things that I picked up at Target. This is my bag of tricks. This is my mail, you don't wanna see that. I picked up some Cheez-Its because why not? <laughs> All right, Marta, you're just never gonna lose weight. Um, I bought this, it's called Ello Duraglass. It's a take to work lunch bowl. What I love about this is that it has this silicone uh, protection. Oh, okay. So the top of it is plastic, but what I love is that the bowl itself is made out of glass and it's a nice big bowl where I can take a nice big salad. In case you didn't know, um, I am heavy because I stopped smoking and I'm eating a lot more, but I'm really a skinny person inside. Um, I love salad. I could eat salad three times a day. I really can. I am obsessed with salad. So anyway, this is going to be great to take to work because I have one, but it's just too small. I need more salad in my life. I bought my favorite gel it's only i think it was three dollars it's the eco styling gel the clear one this is the only one that i will use there's a green olive oil one or whatever this is the crystal and it gives me curl definition but my hair is super super soft i used to use gel back in the day and it made my hair super hard and crunchy not this one my favorite one. I always have to have a full container at all times. I bought Maxi four cans of the uh, Fancy Feast chicken, the pate, because they never have it in our supermarket. So I figured I'd just get him. This is all that was left there. I don't understand what's happening with the chicken pate. Everybody's buying it, but Maxi, look what I got gotcha. you. Okay, he's not happy anyway. He hates it when I go out. He doesn't like it. From Hearth and Hand, I have been looking for something like this. This is called a spreader set. You get two for $9.99. And just the other day, I saw somebody spreading butter, butter. on bread with something like this. And I was like, Oh my God, so much more spreading area. You know what I mean? So I was looking for this. Lo and behold, Hoth and Hand had it. You're the best. Joanna, I love you. And 
This one, I guess, is for, because it has this little, bend here this is for like pies and stuff like that i don't know but i was so happy to find this last one left there was no more of this i got the last one for the kiddos when they come over in the summer i like to have stuff for them to do these were a dollar each from the target dollar spot these big old bubble wands and I know my granddaughter and grandson, those two little ones, are going to love this. So that's that. I'm always looking for a little spray bottle for something. One of them I think I'm going to use for my olive oil when I take it to work for my salads. So that I can just... You know what I mean? This was uh, $3. Tres dólares. One moment, please. My old supervisor, she retired, but she still works there part-time. And today is her birthday. So I thought maybe, you know, just something small. We don't give each other gifts like that, you know, at work, but just a little token of something. And I thought this would be a really great little set. This is all from the Target dollar spot. So we've got this serving board, which is made from slate. And it's, um, it's really nice. It's, it's like gray, grayish black. You can see my phone. Hello. This was $5. And then I got these cheese utensils. See how the top is lined with the black and the white little accents. I love this. It's a three piece set and it was $5 as well. So I thought that would be cute. And then to add to the mix, I got this little dish towel set that was also $5 and it comes with two towels, a striped one and a plain one, but this, this plain, this isn't plain. This has wording on it. It says age isn't important unless you're wine or cheese. <laughs> so yeah, I thought this is a cute little, cute little set, you know, for somebody that they could use when they have company or whatever, you know what I mean? So that's her gift. And then the Room Essentials toothbrush holder that I'm going to use to put my spoons in my coffee bar. And that was it at Target. That was it. I'm now going to feed Maxie and relax for a little while before I make dinner. I'm making grilled chicken salads from Peter and I. So I bought some feta cheese, lettuce for Peter because he hates my spring mix. And for dessert, oh my God, this is a loaf, a blueberry store-baked loaf. It was the last one left, so it must be very, very good. Looks like it's got crumbles on top and tons of blueberries. Oh my God, it's got to be delish with a cup of coffee. So I'm going to make dinner and then we are going to finish the third season of Yellowstone. We have power watched. Remember I told you I was on the first season? We are now on season three. We have three more episodes to go. I'm obsessed with this show. It's really a good one. So if you haven't started watching it, get it together. What are you waiting for? It's great. This is my salad. That's a spring mix with cucumber, tomato, avocado, feta cheese, grilled chicken, what else? Salad? And that's Pete's salad. Look. With nothing but green. With no Useless salad. That's what you call it, right? Yeah, I mean, that's romaine. I don't particularly care for that. I prefer the spring mix. And we're just going to eat now. Then after this, we're going to watch. What are we watching? Who's your daddy? What? <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> done with the test. I actually got done with the test early and ended up going to Dollar Tree. I don't know how I spent $60 at Dollar Tree, but I went there to get my grandkids some baskets and stuff for um, Easter, you know, and candy and things like that. A couple of cute little things that they have there. Um, and then I went to Home Depot to get paint for my little project. 
supermarket. Things. Let me just show you what I picked up. This is from Deco Art. It's a chalk paint in the color Primitive. There weren't that many left there. I love this color. It's such a neutral, beautiful color. After I use this, I'm going to use the Rust-Oleum Stone Effect. I have this somewhere in the house, but I can't find it. This is how I did pumpkins one year. Um, you know, I've revamped some pumpkins. The video is, I'll leave the video linked down below. I've done a couple of things with this and um, it just comes out really nice. So that's what I'm gonna do for that little spoon holder. From Dollar Tree, I was saying, I spent $60 at Dollar Tree. This dollar twenty-five thing, I think is really, it's not gonna work out for me. <laughs> anyway, I bought a bag for my friend's birthday gift with some tissue paper, both for her and for the kids' Easter bags, which I can't show you because my granddaughter watches all of my videos and Sabrina, well, nosy Parker, I see you. <laughs> you can't know what I bought you. Not until I give it to you. Love you. All right, so then I've got Scott tissues. I'm gonna try these. I found these at Dollar Tree, Golden Farms Crispy Onions. I guess you put these in salad, and we all know how much I love salads. So anything to make the salad better. This is for the salad. I bought Maxi a toy. It's a cat toy. I don't know if he's gonna like it because he's very picky. Um, I also just picked up three of these charcoal toothbrushes. When people come over, I like to have a stash of things. Um, just in case when people come over to stay over, you know, for the weekend, or if they happen to come over and they're going to stay over unexpectedly, unexpectedly, <laughs> did I pass that test? Sometimes they forget to bring a toothbrush. So I always pick up extra toothbrushes and, um, I have a little area here in my bathroom where I keep like extra toothbrushes, toothpaste, you know, all different types of toiletries and things that people may need when they stay over. That's that. Starburst jelly beans because why not? They're my favorite. I like to get these felt pads, the Tool Bench brand. You get 60 pieces, and I like them because I like putting them underneath my chair. Sometimes, you know, after a while, they uh, wear out. So that's so that it doesn't scratch the floor. I like these, they're okay. This is new, also from Tool Bench. I've never seen these there, but. It's good for when people are coming maybe to do work in my home. I don't want you with shoes in here. Okay, mister? So these are disposable shoe covers. There are 12 pairs in here. Also, did I say it was a tool bench brand? So we'll see how that works. It's just nice to have over by the entrance. From the supermarket, I bought three things. That is it. Pistachios, an avocado because it's 12.20, I haven't eaten and I am going to make myself some avocado toast. And I found this at Acme Supermarkets. I don't know if you have an Acme near you. I bought this from um, Amazon because I didn't find this at any other store. I happened to be around an Acme today and I found it. It is the Nona Pia's Balsamic Glaze, my absolute favorite. That is how I eat my salads. I put olive oil, drizzle the balsamic glaze on the salad and to die for. I use this on my avocado toast. I use this on everything. It's just so good. And that was it. That's all she wrote. Plus all of the things that I bought the kids um, and their baskets. They had such cute baskets, really. Like for my youngest grandson, Cash. I'm wearing the shirt that I made for him, Camp Cash. I made these shirts for his birthday counselor because they had like a camping theme and I did it with my um cricket and my cricket iron thing whatever anyway what was I saying I forgot I'm a little hyper <laughs> cash doesn't watch my videos he's only two so I'll show you his basket they had the cutest baskets at Dollar Tree a little football basket is that not cute I have a coloring book some crayons some squishy toys and then this that looks, is it a Nerf? It looks like one of those Nerf football thingies. So cute. 
I mean, Dollar Tree kills it with these things. That's one thing. Even at $1.25, you can't go wrong. Good and totten. Good morning. It is a Sunday. It's 10.30 in the morning. I've been up since maybe about 8, 7.30, 8 o'clock, because I was working on editing the video for today. It's just a very dreary, rainy day. Let me show you. Dreary. Oh, it's dreary. Let me open up this door a little. Oh, this door was actually open, Peter. <gasps> the alarm. Oh my gosh. They opened the back door. Why didn't you turn that off? Why does it say alarm aborted? Because it was aborted. Yeah, but it should it should say ready to arm. No. What do you mean no? No, because it was aborted. And it's not ready to arm because it's still on. Disarmed. Ready to arm. You never put the code in, no? I did. Right, so you put the code in to stop it, but you never put the code in to disarm it. Oh, I didn't know that I had to do that. Good morning, sir. Good morning. It's always an adventure. You know, the army, they always say, join the, you know. It's an adventure. It's not just a job, it's an adventure. Yeah. yeah this is a fucking, I mean, sorry. This is an adventure. Goodbye. <laughs> you know what? Uh, let me just explain something to you, sir. What? This back door yeah. was completely open. It's been open for open two it. or three days. I, I didn't open it. it either. Oh, well. The neighbors from across the street, we All went right. out there the other day, and I was the first one to come in. Mm -hmm. And then they came in, and you were the last Oh, of one. course. <laughs> Shh, uh, my fault. Get off. So, this is what we're working with. Lots of rain for today. I kind of wanted to show you guys the backyard for a minute. I mean, it's unfortunate that it's raining. This is Everything our backyard. Is you really can't market. see. I have to, like, scratch my hand. That means I'm getting money. Scratch my left hand my left palm yeah um so this is our deck our deck is like it needs to be repainted we really haven't done much back here last you know in july of last year the summer was just kind of getting started and you know it was our first summer here and my mom passed away so it was just a lot going on um but this is our backyard and we really i really want to make it into like an oasis now i'm thinking i'd like to remove this deck it's a 16 by 16 deck and what i really would love to do is to put pavers down uh but that's really expensive so i'm not really sure if we're going to go that route um but I am going to have the shed removed. We don't need that. We actually had a big, huge tree removed. We had a tree that was right there. And I know that there are plenty of tree huggers around. And, um, you know, people love trees. But we have to do what's best for us. Let me close this because it's actually getting cold. It's cold and rainy. Stop trying to bite me, Mr. Max. I'm going to go sit down. I know that there are a lot of people that are against, you know, cutting down trees, but we had to do what was best for us. There was a tree back there, and it was a pine tree. And maybe a few years ago, there was a very big storm. Actually, it was a tornado, and it tore the top of the trees off. A lot of trees fell here. That was a huge tree. And I was really terrified that there would be another storm was way too close to the house. So we decided to get rid of it. Not to mention there was a lot of um, sap and we had ants on the deck. It was just a nightmare. So we got rid of it. Here's a little bit of the clips of how they did it. I mean, it was amazing. It was like a hundred guys came and they got rid of it in like 10 minutes. Seriously, it was crazy. We're basically trying to figure out what we're gonna do back there. We have 
some issues that aren't so cut and dry. We were getting a little bit of water in our basement, not too much, but enough that is concerning, you know? Maybe the French drains that were put back there aren't necessarily working well, and we may have to figure out something else back there because we're actually, our house is actually at the bottom of like the hill. And so all of the runoff water comes to our backyard and my neighbors and stuff like that. So we have to figure this out. Um, and it may just cost way, way, way too much to do um, what I personally would like to do. But I just want to get the backyard kind of at least looking decent for this summer coming up. So we're trying to figure that out. We've got um, a catalog. My neighbor, I'll show you, hold on. This is actually a catalog from a place very close to us here for the Unilock type of uh, pavers. And let me tell you something, looking at this book, you can really and truly lose your mind. I mean, if we had the money, um, you know, they're just some beautiful designs and some beautiful pavers, which I prefer, you know? I would love to have like a fire pit in the backyard and, you know, just make it like an oasis. That oasis comes with a price and, you know, it may take us a while. We may have to, you know, do it little by little. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. Peter Parker's getting ready to go to the supermarket. Right, Peter? Yeah. And I have to make the list, as usual, to figure out what we're going to... What are we having for dinner tonight? I don't know. You don't know? I have no idea. What do you feel like eating? That's mad All right, so let's have tacos. I said it didn't matter to me. <laughs> I didn't say torture me. <laughs> You really hate tacos that much? I don't enjoy them. I don't. Not like you. I don't enjoy them. All right. So what do you want to eat? Whatever you want to make other than tacos. How's that one now? Oh, let me go ahead and make this list. Today is going to be difficult. Uh, we're home together all day. All mm. day. Hey, come on. Let's go downstairs. I'm going to go downstairs. I hate going downstairs. I hate it. I just hate it. But he has to show me crap. Why you get heat going down here? Cause I don't like this basement now. I used to love it before it was destroyed it's by. Be fixed. We have to find out where the water's coming from to fix it, and then close everything up. Can we, we can't just leave. See, there's a little bit of water coming right here. You see the little. See, it's wet there, um, and it's wet here. Not really. It's wet, Marta. Believe me when I tell you, it's wet. Okay, I don't. This really is see wet. It. See this? That's wet. Okay. That's gotcha. why. Over here, it's dry. It's not a lot of water, but there's water coming in. Where is it coming from? I don't know. I got to I gotta take this wood out, and then I got to scrape this wall like I did this wall. Mm-hmm. And you see here, there was water coming in over here. Ugh, I put hydraulic cement. There was water coming in from the screws. I put hydraulic cement on the floors that they used to hold the wood down. There was water coming from here. There's still water. You see how this is dark? Let's see. What do you mean? You see how that's dark and this is light? Yeah. There's water here. Anyway, this is where our boiler is located. And the oil tank. And then if you come around here, I hate being down here. We have a lot of storage back there. Um, I'm not going to turn on the light, but. Oof. Oh, hi. How are you? This is a hot mess express because we still have to finish the um, the garage. But this basement didn't look like this. This basement was pretty nice. Um, we do have a TV down here. Um, and, you know, Pete will come down here sometimes and watch, like, the game and stuff like that. Right now we have a laundry hanging. This is a project within itself, this whole area back here. Maxie's cat litter, his throne, you see his carpet, right to the throne. My daughter actually made this picture. 
Mm -hmm. She drew it. It's of um, herself in the middle, her sister, and her other sister, all three of them. Peter, Parker, and I, when we got married. Mm -hmm. This is where I keep all of my crafting stuff, and I have it covered because when they actually did the, um, the stairs and they moved the stairs, you know, there was a lot of dust down here. This is where our, the water tank is in there. And yeah, um, I, this was nice and clean once, but then we started getting some water and things had to change. My laundry room is back here. This is another area. Adios, Mona. Adios. Another point of contention. Um, we did get a new light in here. There was a different light in here. And I did try very hard to kind of make this a little cozy. But Peter is the one that does the laundry now. And he comes down here and he just, look at this, hot mess express. I'm grateful that he does the laundry, but he just, you know, sometimes men just, you know, they don't clean things very well. But again, um, I can't complain. He does do it. Um, I did put this little rack up there so we could hang clothes. Um, little plant here. This I actually made. This is a napkin <laughs> that I bought at Marshall's and I just put it in a frame. Uh, and this is my garage. You really don't want to go in there. That's a whole different story for another day. So yeah, the downstairs missing some tile. I can't stand it down here. It just annoys me to be down here. Lots of crap down here. One day we'll do a makeover. All right, let's go upstairs. Hi, Maxie. Why were you crying? Why were you crying, Maxie? Hmm? Make me feel. Make me feel. You just want attention, don't you? You want attention? We gotta clean your eyes. All right, so I made the list and he went off to the store. Thank God, a few minutes of quiet. And um, I decided that I'm gonna make shepherd's pie. It's actually our favorite. It's Sunday, I like to make things that we can eat on Monday night because Mondays are hard, you know? When I come home from work on Monday, it's like, I don't wanna cook. I just wanna heat something up. I actually got the recipe from a website, which I will leave linked down below. It's called Lazy Dishes, I think. Easy recipes for like a weeknight or, you know, anytime really. But um, yeah, so that's what I'm making for dinner tonight. Watch out, Marta, man. Watch out, Marta, man. Huh? Watch out, man. Okay, so I'm going to cook early. I'm going to show you all the ingredients you're going to need to make this lazy shepherd's pie. You're going to need a ground beef, um, usually a pound. You can add more if you'd like. A pack of frozen mixed vegetables or any kind of vegetables that are frozen that you like. And I just got like a 10 ounce bag. A McCormick or any brand beef stew uh, mix, the powdered, the powdered pack. Mashed potatoes, instant mashed potatoes. And some uh, cheddar cheese, like shredded cheddar cheese for on top before you bake it. I'm also going to be using a little bit of my sofrito that I made last week. I'll leave the video down below if you didn't see it. And that's just going to add flavor to my meat. I'm also going to add some other seasonings like adobo and some onion powder, red pepper flakes, garlic powder. And I, I'm really loving this green goddess seasoning blend that I got from uh, Trader Joe's. It's really delicious. Added a little bit of oil, olive oil, to the pan, and I'm just waiting for it to heat up, and then I'm gonna throw my ground beef in there. This is such a super easy recipe. Okay. 
I seasoned it with all of these seasonings. You can season your ground beef whichever way you like. But after it's all cooked, we're going to be adding the beef stew mix. And this alone gives it flavor. I just like to kick it up a notch, as Emma would say. So I drained all of the oil in the pan, and now I'm just gonna throw the beef stew mix in here and a quarter cup of water. I think I'm gonna put just a little bit more. This particular recipe calls for one can of tomato soup. Um, I don't like tomato soup, so I don't put any in mine, but you are welcome to do it in yours. And you would do that like right about now, I would say, or when you put the vegetables in, but already you can smell how delicious this is going to be. Definitely that packet of beef stew helps a lot to give it just a lot of flavor. After a couple of minutes, you're just gonna go ahead and dump your frozen vegetables in there, mix them up, turn down the flame a bit, and let it rock on a medium low flame for a little while. I would say no more than, definitely no more than 10 minutes. While that is cooking, I am going to make the mashed potatoes. I already have two and two thirds cup of water in here. That's because I'm making eight servings according to this box. That is what you need. You can make as much or as little mashed potatoes as you want. I like a lot on top of the meat. So I tend to make the one that says eight servings. Once the potatoes are all done, you're going to dump all of this ground beef in a baking pan. I don't know what size this is. 13 by nine, I think. Now I'm just gonna spread the ground beef. You're gonna take your potatoes and you're gonna put them over the ground beef and kind of spread it out almost like you're icing a cake. Don't worry too much if like you have pieces of meat on top of it. That's what happens to me sometimes. It's not like I can spread it evenly sometimes. My new spreader, let me see if that works. Oh, it actually does. It's great. I'm so happy I bought this. All right. Just do this. And the very last step is the sharp cheddar cheese or any kind of shredded cheese. I prefer sharp. You're gonna just sprinkle it all over the top. And I use like a whole time. I know, heart attack wouldn't happen, but it is what it is. We don't eat this all the time. And then oven at 400 and bake it for 30 minutes. I just finished taking a shower. It is such a beautiful afternoon. I'm talking low because my neighbors probably think I'm crazy. But um, I'm just waiting for the shepherd's pie to cool down. It just got out of the oven. And I figured while I'm waiting, might as well end the vlog here. Maybe chat with you for a little bit. It's been, it's been a crazy week. Is this crooked? I'm sorry. It's really nice to end it on a high note. The temperature is, I think it's about 60, 65 here in New York. It just makes me realize how much I have missed the warmth and the nice weather. The winter affects me and it's totally in a negative way. So next week is going to be a bit crazy. Next weekend is Peter Parker's birthday. So that in itself is 
huge, huge deal. That's on Saturday. And on Friday is my grandson's birthday, my oldest grandson, Nicholas, and he's gonna be 14. I can't even deal. Time just, whoop, time flies. You have to really and truly cherish the moments because time really does just go so fast. What's that noise? nice peaceful Sunday and it's just nice to be able to sit outside and to have a backyard I'm so grateful that even though it's not the way I want it to be it is still a backyard and I have one and I can enjoy myself back here we all can my my whole family can <laughs> Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed spending some time with me. I really never know how my vlogs are going to be received. You know, they are completely off the cuff. I don't rehearse anything. I don't even know what I'm going to talk about most of the time. If I really like somebody that I watch, I love for them to have longer vlogs. If it's 15 minutes, I'm like, oh no, it's done already. So, um, I don't know, hopefully you'll feel the same. And if not, it's okay. You can stop watching after 10. Um, lately it's been after um, eight. <laughs> I know, my analytics tells me everything, but it's okay. I enjoy doing it so much that it really doesn't matter. I hope that you guys have a great week ahead. Definitely looking forward to nicer weather. I never know what to say when I'm leaving because I don't want to leave. <laughs> I guess I'll see you next week. Oh, let me show you how my shepherd's pie came out. Look at this. Look at this glorious cheese. Huh? I know he heard the word cheese. Max hears the word cheese and it's like Garfield. Amazing. Look at this. Oh my God. Mashed potatoes, the meat. Mm. Mm. Finished with dinner. Dish is done. Time to watch Yellowstone. See you next week, guys. I love you. Take care. Wish me the best of luck. Trying to steal your heart. I can't live without